In 1988, it was our fortune, Ruth and mine, to be stationed at the Lakewood Temple, or St. Paul Temple Corps, as the Corps officers. That was a, very, a much younger Bob and Ruth Faye that came in 1988. Uh, we brought with us our daughters, Peggy and Judy. They were in the first and third grade, and it was an adventure for us to come from the Kansas City area up to the North Country in St. Paul, Minnesota. I remember one of the early comments that I, I heard John, I don't know if he was talking to me at the time or whether he was talking about me when he was saying something to someone else, but I remember him saying, I've never, ever had a Corps officer who was younger than I am. <laughs> I never have had a Corps officer younger than I am. And, and I guess that at that particular point in the history of John's leadership and, uh, and the Corps and my own officership, it was kind of a tipping point at that point in time. It was at that point in time that the student became the teacher. Now, I, I'm not talking about me. I'm talking about John. Because I came to be a student of one who had learned so much from the officers who had helped him and ministered with him in years before. We've already heard uh, from several of uh, my predecessors, the officers who worked with John and, uh, and with whom John gleaned a great deal of wisdom and who gave a great deal of support, and I was the beneficiary now of all of that teaching. One of the things that quickly became apparent uh, when we, we talked to John we found out that John liked Norman Vincent Peale and the power of positive thinking and Robert Schuller and possibility thinking. And to me, those had always been just books. They were words, good words, albeit just words. John was one who was able to bring those words to life for himself, for his family, for the core, and for us. He was a possibility thinker, he was a visionary, and a true example of a visionary leader. It's unfortunate tonight that I and many of us have referred to John in the past tense. He was, he was, he was. <laughs> he is all these things that we've been talking about, and he continues to be all these things. During our time at the uh, St. Paul Temple Corps, 1990, New Year's Eve, was a very memorable experience. We had our morning service at the St. Paul Temple Corps on Payne Avenue, and John led that service, and we put together a retirement service of the old building. The message that morning was, if these walls could talk. And we let the old Payne Avenue Corps building talk to us about faithfulness and consistency and, and uh, service. And then that afternoon, we packed up what we could, and we moved over to the new Lakewood Temple Corps, and on watch night service of 1990, New Year's Eve, we had our evening service at the Lakewood Temple Corps, uh, where we talked about the plan for a bright future and the promise of God and his blessing upon us. John's leadership through the development of this building and the programs that went into this building was absolutely instrumental in giving it the success that it has had and has ministered to so many people. Among the new innovations here was the Adult Daycare Center program, and that was a brand new animal for any of us to try to understand. The new building and new opportunities provided ministry, and we soon discovered, and John helped us to see, that our ministry was not so much to the seniors with Alzheimer's who, was, who were in the Adult Daycare Center, our ministry was to their families. And uh, he was right up front in helping us provide the kind of direction and leadership needed to take them to the next step. In 1992, uh, John came to Ruth and I and said, uh, do you guys know anybody that would want to do a mission trip? I don't know what it was about John and missions trips, but he always had an idea for something somewhere else. And uh, Ruth and I, we both said, oh, we'd, we'd love to do a missions trip. And he said, you find another set of officers who would go and do a week of evangelistic meetings, and I'll go with you. And John and Bob and Ruth Fay and Herb and Janet Fuquay were a team of five that went to the Turks and Caicos Islands uh, to do a week of evangelistic meetings for a little Methodist church uh, that, was, that was very, very close and dear to Joyce's brother. And we spent a great time of ministry there. I, I think it was there that we learned uh, as much about John and his passion and his ministry as ever could be taught. 
We will ever be indebted to you, John, for what you were able to impart upon Ruth and I. And like has been said before, you taught us more than anybody could have about being a minister. Um, our approach to ministry was fashioned by the leadership and the guidance that we had from a Corps Sergeant Major who is second to none. And we are very, very thankful. So thank you for all you've done.